Hey there, Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com. Welcome back. Again, if you like my channel, please subscribe. If you find my videos helpful, please subscribe. There is a lot of reasons why I've written three books on windows and doors. I'm putting up 120 plus videos. And um, the biggest struggle I see is people shopping for windows and doors that lack information, don't know what information they need to know. They don't know where to look. They don't know what to look for. They kind of cast an out-out, drag a few companies in, then they try to make a buying decision. And it's frustrating for me when I talk to a client, whether it's a Zoom meeting, in person, over the phone, and they've met with a variety of companies already, and they don't have 80 to 90 percent of the stuff that they still need, but they thought that they were just about done. So this video today is going to be it's going to dive deeper into triple pane glass. I've done a couple of videos on triple pane. If you watch enough of my videos, you know I'm a big fan of triple pane. But now I want to go into some differences. So let's just kind of call this video, is all triple pane glass created equal? All right, let's break it down. If you watch one of my videos on Lowy glass, what Lowy stands for, low emissivity, there's over 100 different variations of Lowy coatings that you could put on glass. But so we're just going to stick apples to apples, okay? We're going to assume that if one company comes in and they have double pane glass that's got Lowy coatings on it and say it's filled with argon gas in between, the other company is doing the same exact thing, all right? The difference I want to point out is the overall glass space. In other words, if a company comes in and their glass space is 5 sixteenths of an inch and the next guy in is seven eighths and the next guy in is one inch. That one inch under the same circumstances with the Lowy coatings in the argon fill or krypton gas whatever they're putting in is going to outperform the ones with the smaller spaces. Now with five sixteenths of an inch there's nobody I know that's doing triple paint. It's just not enough room for three pieces of glass and two spacers. The only time you're going to start seeing triple pane is typically 7 eighths to 1 inch. And then, of course, I believe your maximum is about 1 and 3 eighths of an inch. Um, glass has a sweet spot. Two or three pieces of glass too close together, not so efficient. Two or three pieces of glass too far apart, overall space it starts to drop off again. So there's a sweet spot where glass peaks at its performance. So I want to use this for an example. Here you have two competing doors. Now, they're both fiberglass, but one has a much thicker fiberglass skin than the other. Okay, this is two and a half inches wide, this is one and a half inches wide. This is 43% thicker than this is. This also has about a 43% higher yield of insulating foam than this one does. This one pulls down much lower U factors than this one does. Okay? But cosmetically, these doors can look beautiful when they're stuffed in the opening when you're replacing an entry door. But clearly, this one would outperform this one. Now, let's. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to go around the back and I'm going to zoom in on some glass packages and point out some differences. Voila. Here you have four competing glass packages. I didn't have a 5 16 handy, but you'll get the idea. These two are double pane. If I had a 5 16 here, the 7 8 is going to outperform the 5 16 as long as they're using the same Lowy coatings and putting the same type of gas in. This one inch would outperform the 7 8 the 5 16 Now we're talking triple pane over here. This is one inch. It could have been but I didn't have a 7 8 inch handy. It was 1 and 3 8 of an inch. Again, all things being equal, this glass package would have outperformed this glass package. Now, there are some other variables. Obviously, when you have a wider overall, this gives you bigger cavities to fill, which gives you a higher gas yield, depending on how they're filling the window. The other thing could affect the glass performance ratings. Not so much the thickness of each piece of glass, not so much, but the type of spacers that are being used between them that's 
item, whether or not they're doing a single or dual seal, and what type of sealants they're using as well. Another thing that could affect it slightly on the glass package, notice I'm not saying the whole window, is whether or not the spacer is a one-piece unit, a two-piece unit, or a four-piece unit, and then of course the thing that would affect the overall performance of the whole window, not just the glass package, would be the framing system that you put the glass in. If I put this glass into a poor framing system and I put this into a better framing system, this might possibly outperform this or it might even pull off better ratings. So even though glass drives about 85% 85% of the efficiency of a window or sliding patio door, you still have to know what the framing system's doing and getting the performance ratings on the whole product as it's tested through places like the NRC or possibly AMA for the performance ratings that I go through. And what a lot of companies will do is they'll cheat. So I'm going to take two of these off of here and show you how they cheat. A company will come in with that stupid heat lamp. I think that's video number 80 on my website. Don't hold me to it. I'm kind of losing track at this point. And they'll put a heat lamp on this, and they'll put a heat lamp on this, and you'll see this will block more heat. Well, here's what they're doing that they're not telling you. This glass sample would actually be completely enclosed. It wouldn't be a cutaway piece. It would be a completely square closed off piece. And it would have argon or krypton in here and the glass would have Lowy coatings on it. Then this that they don't sell or don't have to offer, they're kind of bashing it saying see it really is not that effective but what they're not telling you is they didn't put any argon gas or krypton gas in there and they didn't put any lowy coatings on the glass well that's not a fair comparison that's flat out lying and that's flat out cheating and that's just one of the many reasons why i'm not a big fan of the heat lamp demonstration so again to surmise this video is all triple pane glass created equal no it's not All things being equal, if you have two competitors out, this is triple pane with argon or krypton. It's one inch overall space. This is one and three eighths. This will outperform this. The other thing is the sound. They will both block sound immensely better than double pane. Again, depending on glass thickness and the type of spacer being used, on the average, triple pane glass blocks out 40% more noise than double pane glass does. Anyway, those are your big benefits. Uh, when the companies come out, this is stuff they should be educating you on. And if they're not, then you either have a salesperson who doesn't know what they're talking about, or they do know what they're talking about, but they just don't want you to know what you're talking about. As always, if you like my videos, please subscribe, and please tell friends and family. Thank you so much again. I'm Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com.